Okay, besties, where did I leave off? Oh, I finished my bed, my bedroom. Did I ever show that? I'll have to show you later. Anyway, my sister is getting off work at three or she's coming here at three. So I had to be ready to go. What's happening? I still have the family dog. Say hi, Finn. Hi, Finn. Molly and I are driving to my aunt and uncle's house because last week, or well, for a while now, I've been looking for a motorcycle. I don't know anything about motorcycles or about driving them, driving them, riding them. Anyway, what's happening is my uncle found me a really cute one. That's all I know about it. He thinks it's a great one. I think it's adorable. But anyway, so they went over, he checked it out. He says it's great. I said, yes. Please snap that up for me. It was on like Facebook Marketplace or something. It's there, it's at his house and I have to learn how to ride a motorcycle now. So my sister and I are driving there. It was a good excuse to see them. We never get to see them and it's a long drive. Woo, sorry, long-winded way to say that I am basically like massively spring cleaning my house right now and moving all the lumber that I had for the bedroom project outside. Finn needs to get out. He needs to run around a little bit. And then I have to just get the truck all ready to go. It needs like oil and shit because it's high maintenance. <laughs> That's it. That's where we're going. I just had to figure out how to tell you guys that we're leaving the house for a couple days. Okay, Finn. Look, you started the bedroom with me, okay? You started it with me, and now I want you to see the result. Yeah, it looks exactly like it. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Thank you. Yeah, and like if I wanna round out the corners, I can do that later, or add the beams. Yes. Should I set up the camera and do a driveway and then run back for it? On. Hit this button. This is. That's your kill switch. Okay. Wait till this light goes out. Okay. Push this button down here. That's so close the tailgate and then we'll ratchet the thing tight against the tailgate. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm glad you're happy with it. I'm, I'm stoked. <sighs> I was worried that you were going to be like, what a piece of shit. I got here. I'm like, look at this junk. I'm gonna have Molly drive the truck home and I'll just be back here sitting on a bike. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> I think Uncle Brian will be happy with that. All right, we got a box in the back. Buckle up, buttercup. Molly's buckling up buttercup. We're heading home. We went antique shopping a lot. So the back of the truck, you can't see it, but there's a lot 
of antiques that I will have, well, I'll have We're to do. We're your place at 10. At 10. Oh, yeah. It's a long, long drive. We have a six hour drive. I'm gonna do a vintage haul tomorrow. I'm gonna unbox everything and show it off. Right I Grandma does that every time to me and I'll be like on my phone in the parking lot forever. And then I drive by and she's been standing there waiting for me to leave so yeah. she can wave. And I'm like, oh, sorry, Grandma. Bye! I don't know what else I was gonna say. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, a vintage haul. Okay, good morning. It is uh, the following day. I've arrived back home. Molly left, she had to go to work this morning. But as promised, I'm gonna do my little antique haul. I, it was uh, not so little went a little crazy but i'm gonna pull everything out of the bags and then put things where they go and i thought i'd show you while i did it look a fire poker beautiful it's pretty it's got like a bird on the tip love that for me it's all wrapped too so it's like christmas what is it who knows a little crown but i have a collection starting of little bronze animals i've got this giraffe and i also have this alligator and this goes right with it a little cup a little box is that the Coliseum? I don't know. Are my new bedroom shelves? Oh, let's go see. Cute. Stamp roll thing? I thought it would look super cute on my desk. Cute. Oh, there's a watering can. Yeah, I'm gonna go leave it down here. Okay, what else do we have? Berry picking baskets. I found this. I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Let's go walk around my house and see. There was a picture here. Maybe I'll put it here for now. And then we'll find a spot for it. It'll do for now. It's a broom. I don't know. Can you tell I like brass? This was a fun find. Little lantern lights. I was thinking it could be a cute pen holder. I don't know where I'm gonna put this either. This thing was definitely an impulse purchase. Dishes, another little bowl. Another bowl. A knife. Plant markers. I was thinking for out in the garden. Glass doorknobs. Cigarette purse, which I don't even smoke. It has an attached lighter. A scale. I don't know. Drill bit container set. Look at this fan. Thermoses. This. Ooh. 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 Found these cleats that I thought would be cool, like drawer pulls. Look at how cool this is. That was my vintage haul. Thanks for coming. It's time to repot plants. We just bought some bigger pots and. Plus, it'll give me an excuse to put them back here. Whoa. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, there's a lot of spiders back here. Okay. No, I've got dirt all over the couch. All right, but you're getting a bigger pot. You deserve it. So now wait. Get credit where it's due. Let's go. Can you tell that? I came home from work early in my two suitcases out for the first time to make sense of what the hell is going on around me. All right. I was going to call you baby bumpkins. I don't know why. <laughs> I stopped myself though. If I was up till midnight last night, I tell you, if I look tired, that's why these plants got all the care they could ever possibly want or need. I repotted like almost every single plant in here. That was a lot of work. <laughs> calming though. Anyway, not completely done potting. I just ran out of dirt. So I am going to go outside today because it's 60 degrees out and I am going to clean out the koi fish pond because the algae has not started growing. Here, hold on. I'll talk while I'm out there. One sec. Okay. So I have shoes on. We're going out. The snow is almost entirely gone again. Look at that. Isn't spring lovely? Oh my God. Is this tree? I thought we got buds already. Anyway, I was reading that you should do the spring cleaning on a koi fish pond before or around the time that the water starts getting to 50 degrees. So I'm gonna clean it out because the algae has not started growing quite yet. So it's relatively clear in there. And I wanna just clean out all the debris, debris and stuff that fell in over the fall and winter. Just get it all ship shape and ready to go for summer for the fishies. I'm gonna just keep trying to do better every year. Oh, there's the big one. Hi, bud. You enjoying the sunshine? See all that debris in there though? I gotta get that out. Okay, so basically right now I'm just like waiting for the pond to drain. I have it going out into the marshy area down there, but I think I'll start just trying to scoop out weeds and stuff.
might get in there if the water gets too low. Come on. Oh, little guys, little guys. Ooh, lots of them. swamp, but I don't like it. Ew! That's a dead frog. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Gross. Bullshit. Bullshit. There are so many fish. So many. Look at you all. Alright, you guys. I'm taking a lunch break. I'm starving. mud in my eyeballs. Ugh. I think that's good enough. Freaking over it. We're almost ready to go home. Okay, I thought I was gonna like white. It like, it blends into the room, you don't notice it at all. But it kind of feels cheap, I don't know why. The paint color is like really not translating. It like looks way more stark white than the walls. And I don't know, I don't think I like it. I think I like the natural trim. I mean, obviously I can fix like any of the gaps and stuff, but I still, I don't think I like it. I think I like the natural wood. I think I'm gonna just do that instead. <laughs> Okay guys, I've been getting so many birds, but I don't know what they are. I wonder if you guys could help me identify them. Like this one has, well, 
kind of doesn't look like it, but there, whoa, there's a bunch of them down there. I don't know, this one had bright red on the side, but this side doesn't look as bright red. Look at them all. You guys happy the snow is gone? What bird is that? Okay, so I went outside to see what kind of scrap lumber I have to build this closet. Oh, this is very ADHD of me. So I went out to the garage and then I started rearranging the entire garage. And then I was looking out the window and there's been this pile right there of lumber and it looks like a burn pile, which I kind of figured, but I was poking around and I had to go get the camera because this is an adventure. I don't know, it just looks like a burn pile, but it looks like there have been fires here, things are burned, but not totally. Like there's things that aren't burnt, like it was gonna be a burn later and I just never got around to it. But I was poking around and I saw this book and this is how every horror movie starts ever. <laughs> But this book is in this burn pile and it is like duct taped shut. I am so curious. And of course, I'm gonna take it inside and cut it open and see what book it is and why it's out here. There's just like a ton of random stuff. Like there's old camera lenses and stuff, I think. Might be stupid of me. Looks like kind of a creepy book. Listen, curiosity, man. <laughs> I'll meet you guys back inside. I feel like, has anyone seen that movie, Cabin in the Woods? It's like a parody movie on horror movies. And like, there's so many different ways for the horror movie to start. That's kind of like what I'm feeling right now. Like, there's a body bag in my basement. I didn't check that one out. I still have to do that, honestly. And then this. Like, who duct tapes books shut? Where do books this big come from? I've never seen a book this big. Oh, I'm like a little bit nervous. I'm starting to check it out. It felt very like, fine and okay a minute ago. Like, it was kind of funny. Okay. I'm waiting for it to just, like, It is the hope of the writer that the plan which has been followed is such that all can understand it, yet a few observations may be of service. The work has been divided into two parts in order to keep the lines of the trimbles in a more compact form, believing this will give the best satisfaction. This is like somebody's family history book. Holy shit. Somebody kept the most detailed family book ever. A lot of people. I'm gonna go Google a little bit. So it's called A Genealogical Record of the Descendants of John and Mary Palmer of Concord, Chester, now Delaware, with notes of ancestry or information of many of the families with whom they intermarried. I don't know who those people are or why, I mean, like, Google's not showing anything else about who they are. If anyone knows uh, who those people are and why there's a giant, huge book of their family lineage, let me know. And why it might be in a bonfire pit, duct taped shut. <laughs> Thank you. I would appreciate it. Okay, I'm getting ready to pack up and get ready to go to Mexico. I have to bring mice to my sister's house so she can take care of them for the week that I'm gone. I just cleaned up this little travel cage. I have fuzz in my mouth. I put Dixie in it already, but now I gotta put Despero in there. I'm gonna let them get used to it before I bring them over. They're so cute. Oh, there you are. And I just have their water in this dish right now because when I go in the car, I don't want it to spill all over the bedding. My cutie. Bro, where are ya? Hey, cutie pie. Hi. I'm going on an adventure for a week. I'm gonna do Auntie, Auntie Molly. What's all this, huh? <laughs> Straight to the snacks. That is so like you. Oh, okay. I'm heading out. I brought the mice to my sisters. And now I leave. I always feel like I'm forgetting a million things. Now I have to drive all the way to the cities and then my flight is at six in the morning tomorrow. Then I will be in Mexico. Ooh, okay. Off we go.
free. I literally never put my toes on the internet. <laughs> Amazing, yeah, I love that.